just go for it. Which She's probably bottom. not even getting any snails. Yeah. She's just show getting bread. Oh, there it is. Ah! Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. You can really see the snail. Look at that nasty black part. That's a snail in there, you guys. Like, snails used to crawl in my backyard. They were nasty. I would watch them with their shells. And as a child, they're cool to look at. I'm sorry, but you people in France, why are you eating snails? If you're not going to try it, Jenny. <laughs> Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2018 is here. If you click on the description box below, there's a list of all of the foods that we tried in this video, and you can click to the specific part of the video where the reviews are for those specific foods. I hope you enjoy the vlog. We're waiting in line to get the little souvenir magnet thing that you get this year. Do you have to be an annual pass holder? How does this magnet thing work? Mm -hmm. Any of the annual pass holders can get it. And then I think if you come four times, you actually get like a little wooden cutting board. Seth and Fuki are here. Uh, <laughs> Food and wine. <laughs> They're playing Cardi B up in here. Finesse. Um, so I wanted to feature their outfits as an example of what to wear when you come to Food and Wine. <laughs> so let's start with Fuki. Fuki, what are you wearing? No t-shirt. Very cute. Let's see your purse. Purse is a Chippendale. <laughs> so let's see what Seth is wearing. Generic Mickey clothes from Japan. From Japan. From Japan. Wow. Mickey shirt and hidden Mickey shorts. By the way, I got my two Very understated Mickey for his shorts. Because the shirt is definite minky, but the shorts, you gotta, you gotta do that contrast of understated with statement. Love it. And Michael, what do you have that's minky? Yes, I have Nothing. He had a Mickey hat and he didn't wear it. And you know what? I didn't wear my Princess Jasmine yeah, pin. No, I'm a bad Disney like fan. <laughs> Bad day. I used to go all decked out. I always had like my jasmine shirt, my jasmine pin, and I, I haven't been representing lately. Shame on me. Shame. <laughs> Get a good look at it. I am very afraid to try this shrimp cocktail. It does not sound appetizing at all. It's scary looking to me. The fact that there are shrimp in here does not appeal to me, but I thought it would be fun to try foods that do not appeal to me, and that sounds gross and nasty. No offense to anybody who finds this appealing. So here I go. I'm. What am I doing? And I'm hungry too. And I'm thirsty. I haven't drank anything. I don't want to eat this. I'm stalling. Okay. Wait. That looks so gross. Look at that. It's like a, is that a mussel is in this? What yeah. was in this? Shrimp, mussels, a whole bunch of shellfish. Just so gross. Make it down my mouth. 
I'm gonna let my husband eat this. What do you have to say? It's about what I expected. It's This isn't kind of one of the signature booths. This is just kind of like a, well, oh, we're a wine booth and we're gonna offer some food. I don't know. It kind of tastes a little bit low quality. It's. It kind of tastes like a, an inexpensive hors d'oeuvre that you'd have at some party or something like that. I mean, it's not bad, but... One thing that I do like about it, I think they added Tabasco to this. Um, which actually would work really well with this if it was kind of a better quality seafood. So I really like the Tabasco aspect of it. I actually would have added a little bit more, but... No amount of Tabasco was going to take away from the texture and the knowledge that that was a muscle. I don't know, maybe I should try it again. I ate all the seafood. Well, here. This is like a little fake scallop. A fake scallop! Yay! I, I might be able to do a fake scallop. Well, it's still seafood. It's just oh. not a real scallop. It's not a real? Okay. Well, let's try it. Probably tasting the Tabasco. It's chewy like chewing gum. Mm. Okay, so that's all we have to say about that one, right? The flavors are good. The flavors work together. It's just I feel like it's kind of it's just low quality shellfish. Seth was just telling, giving me a tip for Epcot. What was that? It's real hot in Florida, and the <laughs> drinks are expensive. So get yourself one of these. A Coleman insulated backpack. Awesome. I will put a link down in the description box below. You can order it off Amazon. That's exactly where we got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got yours off Amazon? Yes. Save money on drinks. Don't don't spend a billion dollars on drinks here at Food and Wine. Save it for the food. Just well, get your Coleman backpack. Yeah, unless you want oh. to drink wine or beer, then, <laughs> but bring some water so you don't get uh, sloshed. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Welcome to Club Cool, the dirtiest place at Disney. <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay, thank you. It was going crazy haywire a little yes. bit ago. My husband got the impossible burger slider with wasabi cream and spicy Asian slaw on a sesame seed bun. Does not sound appealing to me. Probably not something I would order. Um, I ordered the Steakhouse Blended Burger with blended beef and wild mushroom slider with brie cheese fondue, arugula, and truffle and blue cheese potato chip on a brioche bun. Does not sound appealing to me at all. I'm really afraid of the brie cheese fondue and the truffle and blue cheese potato chip part of this burger, so we'll see how this goes but I'm kind of afraid right now, so. And it looks like Seth has also done the Impossible Burger. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to hear what they have to say. Double the Impossible. Here we go. It has arugula, I do like arugula. I don't know what I was afraid of. I don't taste any of those scary ingredients. This is really good. I would recommend this. It's really good. Try it. I was really hoping she wasn't going to like this burger because it sounded really good to me, but now I think she's going to eat it all. I'll share my burger. Everybody at work, what they're excited. Don't live here, live there. And I'm like, put the five minutes with each other. And I'm like, you're a friend. And I'm like, yeah.
He ate, he inhaled like more than half my burger. Look. There's only like a tiny piece left. Don't inhale that. The rest, I think the rest is mine. There's plenty left. The rest is mine. I like that. It, there's, it's just nothing but gourmet, amazing goodness. And you want to spend all your money here. I don't know why anybody would ever be scared of a burger. It's like the my favorite comfort food. But anyway, that burger, the, the meat burger, whatever it is, it was a really great blend of meats. It was just really, really good. Um, and they even got a little bit of a, a char on the outside, so it kind of had a little bit of a crunch on the outside, and then the inside was nice and tender and juicy and everything. The only reason I picked this burger is this is actually a veggie burger, and I'm usually not a huge fan of veggie burgers, so it's a veggie burger. Oh, you didn't, he didn't, Seth didn't know it was a veggie burger. I wasn't. Neither did I, honestly. I feel robbed now. You feel robbed? <laughs> I wanted some beef. Does it taste good? It tastes pretty good. It does? A look inside the impossible. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. You don't taste the wasabi? I do. Really? It's burning my lips. Fuki doesn't taste the wasabi. Like a kimchi taste. Kim kimchi taste? Yeah. There's a kimchi taste. Did I say that right? Kimchi. 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 There's a kimchi taste. Is it is it beans that it's made out of? I think it's definitely got quinoa. It's got quinoa. I think. I don't know. I honestly don't know. The wasabi was really strong for me. It was really strong. I tasted the uh, cream like just by itself. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty light. Yeah, no. Okay, so Seth and Fuki think that the wasabi was pretty light, but see, Fuki's from Japan, so I think she she's used to wasabi. Wasabi's nothing to her. For me, wasabi, it's like, oh, wow, lights came on. Wasabi is a scary ingredient for me. I'm, I'm like American palate all the way. So I tasted that wasabi. It was very strong for me. But for Fuki and Seth, which, how long have you been eating Japanese food, Seth? Um, real Japanese food? <laughs> Four real. Years, five years? Five years of real Japanese food for Seth. <laughs> like he's straight gone to Japan and he eats. It didn't taste like a veggie burger. It tasted like an Asian burger, but it definitely did not taste like a meat burger. Like you never, you didn't get any of that savory meatiness to it. So, I mean, it was good. It tasted Asian. I thought the wasabi was pretty light. Um, but it, it kind of had a wasabi soy sauce sort of flavor to it. Um, it was tasty, but yeah. I mean, I, I do think it was like a veggie burger, especially if you had a bite of the the other burger um, that was really, really good. What do you give the Impossible Burger out of 10? Mm. Eight. Eight. Eight out of 10? Okay. There you have it, people. figure out what's potato and what's spam they're all kind of <laughs> they're cut into the same shapes and sizes so that's potato that's spam it smells good it does smell good even to me so it's good flavor I mean if anything it's lacking flavor I'm just gonna try the spam by itself because I've literally never had spam. Right, I'm eating it. This is why we ordered this because we're kind of afraid of spam. It's like, what what is spam? You know, I don't know. It's definitely salty. It has a mushier texture than regular ham. 
Yeah, the spam by itself, it's it's kind of a little bit too salty. I think they've under seasoned the potatoes and that kind of mellows it out. All together, it actually tastes really good. Jenny is going to go spamming. Okay. It melts in your mouth. <laughs> the spam melts in your mouth. The spam melts in the mouth? Okay, that's, that's a little alarming. Oh. should have thrown some pineapple That Seth, actually would have been really good. Seth says pineapple would have made it better. Okay, let's try this. All the way. The mind is a very powerful thing because I can't get past the spam thing. Like I actually ate it, but I'd, I think I would only eat the potatoes. That spam just did not, it's too squishy and squiggly and too funky. I'll just do the potatoes, but the potatoes are good. What do you have to say about the spam? I like it. I think pineapples would have been nice. It's a, yeah, a little uh, salty, but I guess that's normal for a hash. Melts in your mouth. Spam. <laughs> Just falls apart. Oh, you eat the tuna. I don't eat seafood usually. Oh, you don't. I'm trying to eat tuna. <laughs> now, Fuki, what what do you have to say about the tuna? What do you have to say about the tuna? So this tuna is not very fishy. If you don't like the fishy taste. Yeah, it's outside in a cup. The okay. seared. Yeah, it's yeah. just seared. It's real good. Yeah. It has a uh, cucumber taste. <laughs> I taste a little bit of cucumber. Uh, maybe this one. Maybe from the relish. The this is cute, cute. But so you guys do approve of the tuna? They like yeah, the tuna? Yeah, the tuna was real good. Good. I didn't try the tuna, but they gave it a thumbs up. That one was probably on my do not eat list. Just because it was tuna. So yeah, it is a, a steamed green lip mussel with garlic butter and toasted bread crumbs. It's also hairy. It's hairy? <laughs> it's hair right there. So South these are side. hairy. Oh wow. I, I don't know the proper way to eat these. Like do I use a fork? Do I just... Here, I'll hold the light. You gotta kiss them. I have to the kiss them. Lips. Do I just kind of shovel it in my mouth? I, How does I this have work? no idea. I told I you don't I don't eat either. seafood. Okay. Smells good. Should I should I try to eat this? Yes. <laughs> You'll spit it out, but you should try. <laughs> okay. That's the film. You know. There's okay. This isn't this isn't gonna stay in Jenny's mouth more than like half a second. We're gonna get. Preserve right. this moment I'm gonna, forever. I'm gonna try to eat this, this nasty oh. green lip muscle thing. It's a, it's a YouTube challenge. <laughs> She's crying. Is it crying? It's a re real tear. Genuine tear. What forever. is this? Why do people eat this stuff? Who, it tastes who pretty good. thinks of eating this? Like somebody one day was like, let me try to eat that. They must have been really hungry. Hobbits. Hobbits? Gollum. <laughs> Go for it. I'm telling you, half a I second. I can't even bite this you. down. This pull, it, pull it out. There you go. Wow. I'm surprised that much went in her mouth. Uh, huh. I had to swallow it really fast so that I wouldn't taste it or feel the texture. But the breading was good, and it does smell good. There we go. I got it loose. Michael got it loose, but these shells are so pretty. I almost want to, like, it kind of looks like Mother of Pearl. I almost want to rinse it off and, like, put it in my purse and keep it. Get a bunch of napkins, it. take it home. <laughs> then your purse would smell like fish. My purse would smell like fish, but it would be a souvenir. Free, well... Free, a free one. Free, <laughs> yeah. It's not really <laughs> There's a little like. piece of muscle still. I feel like that needs to be ripped off. That is like gross. I gotta, I gotta, there's no napkins. Oh my word. Oh, thank you, Fuki. That's what you gotta thank do you. at the Food and Wine Festival. Grab a bunch <laughs> of napkins. Grab napkins in case you need <laughs> and to. And you take them with you. In case you need to spit something out the way I did, you need napkins.
always grab napkins. I thought those were good. The only thing I will say, they steamed them too long. They're a little too chewy. Oh, wow. Like somebody left a public water bottle here and it's completely sealed. Yeah, I'm almost I tempted. Wouldn't take it. I'm not gonna take it, but I'm all Don't pick up like... strange bottles of water. <laughs> That's that another nice tip at food and wine. <laughs> but I bet somebody wanted to leave it like, oh, I don't want this water bottle. Let's leave it for some poor stranger who's really thirsty and needs to drink something. What if they're that kind of person? I like to think. Maybe it has a note under it that says oh, it's poisoned. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah. you have to find them to get the antidote. There's ducks roaming around. Ducks. He's next. <laughs> oh, yeah, next. <laughs> So here is the escargot. The snails are hidden in the croissant. Oh, escargot means bread in French. <laughs> now just pick it up with your hand and just bite it in half. That's a good thumbnail. No, this is not slow motion. <laughs> Go for it. Which She's probably bottom. not even getting any snails. Yeah. She's just show getting bread. Oh, there it is. Oh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at the Look at the bottom. You can really see the snail. Look at that nasty black part. That's a snail in there, you guys. Like, snails used to crawl in my backyard. They were nasty. I would watch them with their shells. And as a child, they're cool to look at. I'm sorry, but you people in France, why are you eating snails? Huh? If you're not going to try it, <laughs> Jenny. They're like black, you guys. You're going to make it to where no one else can try that because it's falling all over the place. <sighs> Is my makeup okay? Is it like smearing? <laughs> Probably, huh? Don't judge. If it I'm adds to the it, effect. It adds to the effect. <laughs> it is sweaty out here, you guys. So are you gonna try this or not? I am not gonna try this snail. Okay, well then let I thought me try I would, it. but I that that was the closest I get. Rachel Hinkle told me that she liked snail okay. Oh. Ugh. Can I try it now? Yeah. Michael's gonna try it. And Fuki's gonna try it. Let's the ABC snail. That's actually yeah. pretty good. It's a big. It's it big. Is big. It's a big snail. It Dude, is. It big. honestly tastes good. You're the one that wanted it. Big snails, you guys. It is big. It's like these no, things it were it's, alive. It's probably and about that big. It's probably about that big. You're it's honestly, it tasted really good. I thought it tasted really good. I'm sure you Here, did. Let's see. Ah. There it is. having two mike <laughs> but yeah i mean it's actually it's not chewy it's very soft oh, that was expensive aspargo. <laughs> it's very soft and in the bread and everything it's just it adds texture i guess what do you think pookie it. it's okay it's okay no. are you I gonna eat think it? it i didn't think it's so big are you gonna finish it yeah i can do it you can What else do you have to say? I honestly really liked it. That surprised me. I thought it was going to be kind of rubbery, like the mussels. It's not. It's just got a little bit of bite to it. It's very soft. And I mean, I don't know. I mostly just tasted the bread and the garlic. It's really just texture that it added. I didn't taste anything. And the croissant's good. Dinner and a show. So, <laughs> Seth, you've been eating the uh, creme brulee. What do you have to say about it? doesn't have snails in it. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, raspberry creme brulee. It's pretty good. They always do a twist on the creme brulee. Last year was like chocolate. And how do you like it? Like It's pretty good. It's that's creme brulee. It's not it's raspberry custard. Yeah. What do you compare it to? Creme brulee. Mm -hmm. Like for somebody who's never had creme brulee and maybe they're a little afraid. It's like a uh, pudding or custard. 
and they dump all the sugar on it. And then they take a blowtorch and they burn the top of it. So it makes this crust. It's a caramel. Mike says it's caramel. I say it's burnt sugar. It's candy. I don't know if it's candy. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm passing by Morocco. I'm not ordering the chocolate baklava, but I do highly recommend it. I've had it in years past and it's always really good. Always get the baklava. Always get the baklava. It's like a staple at Food and Wine. After the fiasco with the snails, I opted for something in Japan that felt very safe. The chicken teriyaki. You know, most Americans are familiar with chicken teriyaki. But Isn't it's in, this a dangerous food tour? I don't. It's supposed to be, but I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day, and this looks so yummy. Look at this funky bun. It's just bread around the chicken teriyaki. That's a good amount of stuffing in there. <laughs> Very doughy bread. Yeah. What? Are, what are your thoughts, Seth, on that sandwich? It's not like the ones that I've had in Japan, but it's pretty good. Would you order that again? I guess. Is there anything special? Well, you can't usually get a uh, steamed bun, uh, at least in Florida. It's hard to find. Yeah. You can find one in Pandora mm -hmm. at Animal Kingdom. Oh, that's true. Take it. Yeah, Michael's, Michael's going to try the steamed bun. I've gone to this dim sum place downtown with in one of my... Uh, downtown Orlando? Yeah. And they have good steam buns. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Can oh. I have another bite? Yeah. I would much. <laughs> I would much more recommend this than the uh, the beef. And what did you order, Pookie? Uh, beef nigiri. Beef sushi. Oh, this and looks pretty good, actually. That sauce is shrimp sauce. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. You want That's to try the one? Jalapeno. You want to try one? Yeah. I guess so. I kind of do. Yeah. Look at how Fuki actually uses her chopsticks. <laughs> like an authentic Japanese person that she is. <laughs> I love it. Fuki needs to teach me. So, in Japan, would it be rude if I ate with my fingers? It's okay. It's okay, really? They don't. They don't look at it. They like, do. We do. Can, uh, flip oh, the you chopsticks do? If you want. Flip the chopsticks? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't yeah, think about a, that. Yeah, that's a, nice. Tip Some number seven. Tip Some seven. Flip tip, chopsticks. Tip number seven for <laughs> eating in Japan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good job. Ruby. This is my shrimp. You taste the shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> spicy? It's very spicy for me. Oh, because the jalapeno. It's the beef. I don't like the texture of the beef. I thought it would be more like a ham, like or not ham, you know, like a deli meat. Nothing like a deli meat. It's very chewy. Oh, really? I was like, I was using my molars. It just wasn't cutting up. It was staying intact. <laughs> Must be me, no. And then the jalapenos didn't do well. And then that little bit of shrimp, I was kind of like, but the rice was good. <laughs> I actually didn't taste much of the rice because I was so fighting back everything else. Let's be clear that there's no shrimp on this. Just shrimp sauce. Yeah, <laughs> let's be clear about that. I was I was asking the lady, is there actual pieces of shrimp? Yeah. She said no. It's just the sauce. It's almost like a shrimp mayonnaise. Is kind of mm. how I felt. Yeah, mayonnaise. It's spicy because of the jalapeno. She said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fuki, for sacrificing <laughs> half of your meal. No, it's fine. I want to try. I mean, I like the beef. Was it chewy, like I said? Yeah, but it was a strip of beef. Let it be known that I don't normally eat a lot of beef. I like the jalapenos. 
Michael also likes jalapenos. I don't. Yeah. About the shrimp sauce. I didn't taste anything shrimpy. It kind of tasted like mayonnaise to me, but there was a shrimp in that mayo, I know. It's a very thin, runny sauce. So, what do you give it out of 10 stars? I probably wouldn't order it again. Why? It was, just, it was okay, it was just there's nothing really special about it. So this is the duck in China. It looks appetizing. This kind of reminds me of a tortilla. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this. Is this like a like sandwich? Looks like you can, yeah, sandwich it. Okay, here I go. I don't recommend the duck. First of all, these things are way hard. Like this is really soft and then I get one of these. I just don't think they pair well. The duck's way too greasy and fatty for my liking. I'm definitely a chicken girl. I, I like the idea of the onions, but the sauce isn't even good to me. Let me see if I can eat the bread by itself. I'm not a fan, it's too watery. The bread's like, no flavor, texture is eh. I like the duck okay. The bun, it's a very weird texture. It's like spongy. How does it compare to the, the teriyaki bun thing in Japan? The, the Japanese one was much better. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, with this, I feel like the filling's fine. It's the bun, the texture of this bun. And it's it's almost like a sweet bun. I don't know. It just have a different delivery source other than this bun, and I think it would be better. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was a fun time at the uh, Food and Wine Festival. Yeah. What, what do you most recommend, Fuki? Oh, I like the veggie burger. The veggie burger? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Impossible oh, the Burger yeah, was... Impossible. It was oh, like pretty... Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Is that what you recommend, too, number one? Uh, I sort of enjoyed everything. Uh, I think you should come down and try to plan to try a lot of different foods mm -hmm. and yeah. walk around the world. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Food and Wine 2018. I hope you found this video enjoyable. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos, um, reviews of restaurants. Let me know in the comments below what types of videos you want to see. Um, and uh, please like this video if you like it, share it with others. And uh, I hope you guys have a magical, magical day. And don't get totally drunk and climb the Mexican temple or you'll be banned for life. That has happened, I think. I don't know if they ever caught him, though. I think they did. Oh. Pretty sure. Oh, and Michael, do you have any last words? I'm tired. Michael's really <laughs> tired. All right. All right, bye, everyone.